What's up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here. We are back in the world of World War Minecraft, and you may notice some changes. Uh, see, I love Viking. Viking is a special person, aren't you, Viking? Oh, yes, I am. I'm very special. Unfortunately, he's short bus special, and because of that, he likes these, these, these pipes, systems, and, and whatnot, which make Pyro want to just flip the shit and just go crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to fix this, because this is obviously terribly broken. Uh, but we're going to do that here in a minute, because at the moment, Viking has a surprise for us. Don't you, Viking? Ah, uh, yes, I have. Something I've built in my spare time. And you're, you're very proud of this, aren't you? Oh, yes, I am. You have no idea. All right, so Viking tells me yesterday he's going to make a statue to me, which uh, I found a little creepy, because, you know, statue to me, I mean, that, that's either going to be really good or really bad, and uh, we've already established that uh, Viking is special. So we're going to step into our little teleporter, teleport, and you can see Viking is chilling in his little secret uh, area. Now I'm going to try and cover the other stuff up so you guys can't see it yet but freedom for the slaves crush the lords of oppression free bacon every breakfast fight the dogs of queerness I'm not sure queerness is even a word Viking I'm pretty sure I'm pretty I sure it's it not is. I'm pretty sure it's not well, it's, I invented it so it's a word I just realized I'm starving to death do you have any food Ah, oh, I have some cooked uh, pork shop. Thank you, good sir. Hopefully I can actually pick it up because of the server. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to show you this. Um, I think Viking pictured something differently when I see this. But I see something else than he does. And it's terrible. <sighs> So I'm, I'm going to go into creative so you guys can see this. Now, on first look when I see this, I'm like, um, Viking, why are you butt fucking me? To which, I'm not, to which I'm Viking not. replied, I'm, I'm not butt fucking you. I'm like, um, this looks like doggy style to me. And you've even got some creepy fucking chains going on over here, like a leash. I mean, this yeah, is... Yeah, dog collar. This, he's got a dog collar on me, and he's bending me over and doing... I mean, this is just... This is dirty. So I think what Viking was trying to say <laughs> was that he was putting me in a slave collar and making me walk around like a dog. Although, it looks like he's having horrible, demeaning sexual intercourse with me. You can also see he's decided he's added a halo to his uh his body he's got some wings um and and apparently a sword with a little pink light on the tip which really isn't helping your case any at all so but i, I do think he did a pretty good job on my uh my skin because i mean if you look you are pretty pig that, pink yes that that pretty much looks here here let me let me get down here let me see if I can... Actually, let me take this armor. Well, I can't take it off here. Hang on. Well, your armor is invisible, so they don't see it. Alright. So there he is. This is this is the, the, the what he's got, and then I'll, I'll come stand right in front of it so you guys can, can kind of see the comparison. So he, he did a pretty good job of it, I think. So, uh, other than the whole... Uh, the, the, the whole butt fucking thing uh, which I'm not really cool with he did he did uh, pretty good and and you'll notice he's protected this whole area with what is this warded stone yeah it's uh, warded stone from Tomcraft Blackstone so the contrast of the wings and such fits well so basically he's made this room impenetrable to just about anything other than apparently my anus which I'm going to have to get you back for this, Viking. This is just completely unacceptable. Not only not only are you, you trying to set up a, a uprising in, in the legions of my slaves, but sexual intercourse with the master's butt is not allowed. Ever. Ever. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I even made your butt a little bit bigger so it wouldn't be so obvious. He's <laughs> be a giant ass. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Thanks. That was that was awful sweet of you to give me a giant ass, you dick. What did I miss? <laughs> I love the guy who joins the server and he misses the giant butt fucking statue. <laughs> what did I miss, guys? Oh mm. man. Alright. Just full timing. So back to what we're gonna do here. Um we're gonna switch over switch gears now. Viking, where where'd you go? I uh, went to gather some pork at my grilled pork uh, generator at my other base. Was that your secret base? My so-called secret base, where I also have the sky church. I don't know if you have showed it to the streamers. Um, so. no. I mean, if are you there now? Uh, yeah, basically, I am. Okay, let me. Uh, whoops. Uh, TP to you. All right. So this is. Is it? Are we inside it now, or are we going to it? No, we're going to it. Ah, so this Just. is. Okay, so Just this is stains. this is Viking's special little spot. So when you hit this, this is a, a very interesting little uh, setup. You can see that he's got it sealed, so you can't see it. And we're we're currently flying up. And if you look up, you don't see anything, anything at all. Now, once we get a little closer, you can kind of see it. I guess it is kind of lit up. So you see, I guess he's over the clipping plane. And then once you get up here. You can you can drop down. He's got a uh, dude. Your tree's flickering over here. This is kind of creepy. I know it's because of the wines. I didn't expect that, but yeah. So this is and the notch said to Steve, "You shall live by the blocks." What the hell? No way. Well, I got some inspiration from Bioshock Infinite, but yeah. So this is this is the Church of Viking, which is a little bit uh, cre creepy. The Church of the Radiating Heartburn. He's got an, in, I yep. guess, an infinite water source over here. Oh, he's got a pulpit. What, what do you got in here? Oh, you've even got books in the pulpit. This is kind of interesting. Yeah. And at the entrance, I asked the Dave and Ted Rooster to say their favorite colors, and one said very, very bright pink, and one said purple. So that's why we have a pink and purple roof. That's creepy. And then out here in the back, we have the uh, the different graves. Pyrostasis, may he rest in Texas heaven. Viking, may he play computer games in the ever after. Big D choked on a big sausage. <laughs> BD Locke died of eating old meat. Patch to forgot. Patch forgot to patch himself up after a cut. And the Dave, I told you I was sick. Dot dot dot. So I thought it was another kind of sickness, but oh well. Interesting. Now where is your where is your meat farm that you have? Uh it's below. I don't have an elevator down, so we have to jump down. Oh great, okay. Following you. We. And the black stuff to the right you don't need to care about right now. That looks like oil. Nah, it's uh, something a small else. Help. Yeah, you can show it to them after the peak form. Welcome to Viking Science and Arms Division. All right, coming through. Got some nice turrets set up. Yeah, no bullets in them. Yeah. Well, don't and say you don't have any bullets in them. Then people know. They're they're pretty much worthless. This is basically the peak form. Um. I have a level 5 pig spawner up there, so if I turn it on, pigs start spawning, and then I will put on the timer that will make all the little piggies uh, fall down. So I don't understand. If they burn in the lava, how do you no, get... No, it's only one block of lava, so they start, uh, start uh, burning. Or, uh, fire burning, and you know when uh, animals are burning and dies, they release cooked of whatever meat they have. So if we go down one stair, oh, hang on, where are you? Down one stair. Ah, okay. Wait, you no. will see they. How did you get down there? Oh, you're seeing the I elevator see blocks. There we go. 
It's to the left. There we go. Uh, they will fall down here and die and release good pork. And so they actually fall us. through the lava before they die? Yeah, they do. Gotcha. They survive one block of lava. And then they fall down and die, release cook pork shop, and here is obsidian pipes that suck it up in the pipe and gets it up to uh, the chest. Well, it seems uh, interesting. There has got to be an easier way to do that, though. There has got to be. Yeah, and, he and here I have nether skeletons dropping down, uh, getting me bones and coal. It, it seems like the coal and the bones, though, uh, aren't working. Yeah. Uh, it glitches sometimes. Gotcha. And in this obsidian room, I have the most dangerous creatures of them all. What's that? Well, basically, I oh, have, you have gas. Ghasts. Interesting. Yeah. And they come one ghast every 20 seconds or something like that when it's on. And I have also a blaze spawn. How the hell it. did you get enough ghast kills to get a gas spawner? Well, you only need one ghast kills, and if you have a level 5 shard of whatever creature... Uh, let's see... Uh, you can actually uh, transform that level 5 to another level 5 that you have. So I had level 5 uh, sheep uh, and cow uh, shards, so I just used them and other them levels to... Uh, so what happens when this stuff... I, I see it's moving down here, but I don't see where it goes once it moves down. It just kind of stays here. Do you have to come in and manually collect this, I assume? Yeah, uh, I haven't done any special because I don't need to. Gotcha. I can... Uh, blazers get hurt in the water, so if I stay here, they will go downwards to me and I can just kill them. This is a half block of obsidian, so they can't actually shoot us when we're on this side, so we're totally safe. Interesting. But we can still hit them. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see, I can show you the house I'm building. Also. Whee! I want to see the wither spawner real quick before we go. So that's the withers. So I've got, you've got yeah, water that pushes them into the center, and then they fall through, apparently, eventually? Yeah. And then you see the pipes here. They're very slow, but it works. Dude, we're going to have to make a coal coke generator just because I want one. Dude, this is ridiculous. You were insane. All right. Carry on. Carry on, sir. And we will go into that place, yes. And if people complaining about the light, well, gamers live in the darkness, so I kinda understand that. Still, they're whining. Oh, dude, this is cool. Whee! Yeah, it's basic basically those green crystals you have, and I have not done with the roof, but this is uh, a place. Oh, dirt. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you got your own ME system over here. Holy shit, dude! Oh my god. How the, how long did it take you to get all these 64Ks? Well, a lot. That's ridiculous. Uh, because I had... Uh, I have in a secret space somewhere close to here, I have just chest full of everything that I mined, and I have quarried holes over the whole server. See, if you randomly digging and see a big hole, I have been there with a the quarry. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I like so, how you got this mountain uh, over here in the distance. That's kind of pretty. That's yeah, pretty pretty. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed you didn't use the doorbell. Oh, I didn't know you had one. Hang on. Well, you, did, you did fly over. Coming, 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 coming. All right. Don't dare ring the doorbell. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Whoa, Jesus, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> they, they were just basically two rail guns aiming at the door at all times. Where are the rail guns at? Uh, right here. Oh, <laughs> nice, dude. And uh, 
uh, I have a wireless transmitter, so when you get to the doorbell, they just shoot a couple of shots. And the watered stone protects everything inside, so the only thing you need to replace is the sign and the button. Very nice, dude. Very nice. That's good and stuff. And unless you weren't cre creative, I don't know if you would have survived. Probably not, no. Two real guns. Is are they antimatter bullets or normal bullets? No, normal bullets. Uh, antimatter goes right through, so I would uh, destroy everything inside. Really? Usual real gun bullets. Antimatter will go yeah. through warded. Interesting. And uh, explosion will, uh, hmm. unfortunately. So even if someone is inside a water stone home and we have antimatter bullets, uh, it will the effect will go straight through. Good to know. And uh, the blocks won't the blocks won't break, but everything within will. <laughs> Very interesting, sir. Very interesting. Oh, well, I see you've got plenty of when... power generation here. That's good. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you want to show uh, the the streamers? Not right now, it isn't ready. Oh, whoa, 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 there we go. Okay, I always get lost. Alright guys, well, today's a little bit of a short episode, but I wanted to show you guys what, um, what he's at. Dude, you should totally get those little golems, bro. Have you seen those? Uh, what? Yeah, I know. Uh, I have those, but... I don't need to. I don't. I don't farm uh, any stuff anymore because I don't need it. What is this stuff right here? This blue stuff. Uh, this blue stuff Whoa. is um, flax. Basically, how I yeah flax seeds. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And what do you need all that string for? Just curious. Well, you can make different things like this canvas bag, which is uh, like an alchemy bag. It's uh, like a portable chest you can have with you at all time. Very nice. I may have to get me a few of those then. Cool beans. Cool beans. Yeah, definitely probably going to have to start making some of those. Cool. Well, I did want to show you guys what Viking has been up to. He did win the contest. I wanted to show you guys that he's not slacking. He's done a ridiculously crazy amount of shit on the server. He pretty much plays nonstop. Like, forever. It's, it's, it's insane. So hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, please click the like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.